Hi, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Today I am going to be sharing with you five luxury items that I will no longer be purchasing. I did a video similar to this last year and it was on 10 items and most of those 10 items I thought were wastes of money and just you know, wish I hadn't have spent on those items. I think one of the items is gonna be the same um, this year but everything else is completely different. For the most part, I don't think these are waste of item things to purchase. However, I am at a point with some of these things that I just have too much and it is time to check myself. <laughs> I don't want to just completely mindlessly spend and not be able to use what I have. So when I look at these things and how much they've been used, that is why these five things are on my list. Before we get started, my name is Melinda. If you're new to my channel, welcome in. If you're returning, welcome back. If you haven't done so already, rather you're returning or you're new, I would love it if you just hit one moment. Hit one moment, don't hit one moment. Take one moment and hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. So let's get right into this. The very first item that I am not going to be purchasing any more of going forward are luxury designer belts. I got, I should start with my first one that I got. I got my first designer belt in, for Christmas of 2019. Um, I have mentioned a few times on my channel, you probably don't remember it, but I have scoliosis and I'm just not fond of how belts look on me. Um, the older I get, the more accepting I am of myself and if I want to wear a belt, I'm going to. The first one I picked up is the Gucci Marmont and it is in the larger size with the gold GGs, just the black leather. I love this belt. So like I said, I got it December 2019. I wore it on a couple of vacations in early 2020 before we were shut down. Um, I didn't wear it, I don't think, maybe once in December because, you know, the 25th and then you're moving on. We Our trip was on January 1st, but a few times and I really, really enjoyed it. So in February, we were on vacation and I purchased the Hermes 24 millimeter um, belt. I'm holding up two of them here at once. This is the black, um, the black Swift leather with the gold Epsom leather. And this is the first one that I purchased. I wore this several times on um, my vacation that week. Really, really enjoyed this belt. Wore it a few times at home. And for my birthday last year, I ordered another color. And you can see the belt um, hook or whatever you want to call that. <laughs> the, the belt buckle, the buckle. And it's just the gold H. This one is in navy um, Epsom. And then the other side is in blue Frida. So I have had this one a little over a year now, not once. Not once have I worn it. I also have not worn the Gucci one again or the um, the other one again. I just, because I didn't do a lot of dressing up last year. I ordered this one, you know, you know, just hopeful things are gonna go back to normal and I'll be dressing up and wearing cute things again. But so between these two, this gives me four belts basically because of the colorways. And then if I want something that's, you know, really big with a logo, I have the Gucci one. So I just don't need another belt. If you wear belts every single day and that is your style and you wear them to work, that might be, <laughs> sorry about that. That might be something for you that you would want more than three belts. But for me, three is plenty. I'm gonna go turn that uh, ringer off. <laughs> okay, so the next item I'm gonna share with you, this I personally feel is a waste of money. Um, I just never felt like I got my money's worth from this, these kind of products, and that is luxury skincare. Um, this is empty. This was the last thing I could find because I have stopped buying it, but this is just Chanel Blue Eye Serum. Um, it wasn't a bad product by any means, but it wasn't spectacular either, and I had a few other high-end um, creams and you know moisturizers, all that kind of stuff. I use, for the most part, the Boots line and um, the Boots number seven. These I use every day. This is Lift and Illuminate. This I use in the morning, and this is Restore and Renew. 
and it's night cream. I also use a ton of their serums. I have talked about that multiple times on this channel. I will link some of my favorite things down below. Another favorite for me is First Aid Beauty. This is the Ultra Repair Cream. And I also have the Retinol Eye Cream, which I really, really like. And you can get these on sale, which is awesome if you sign up for their um, First Aid Beauty's um, emails and also they're like included in the Sephora VIB sales. Ulta will have sales. You can use coupons, all sorts of stuff. Whereas with the Chanel, no, it's really, really expensive. And I'm not saying it's a terrible product, but it just wasn't worth it to me. Um, I feel like I've gotten really, really good results with drugstore products and I'm very, very happy with those. So that is another item I will not be purchasing. The next one, and this is the one I think was on on last year's um, on last year's video, and that is small leather goods. And I did purchase two after I said I wasn't going to. Sold one. This is the other one I bought. This is for sale if you're interested. I will have my email down below. It is the YSL Fragments. It is in that beautiful pebbled leather with the five slots on the back and the zipped portion here and it's all leather inside of there. I am gonna take my camera and um, just kinda of turn it around. I'm gonna show you, I keep my small leather goods in little baskets. I'm just gonna show you some of them. I still have too many, but whenever I try to like pull them all together and, and pare them down to sell them, I'm really at a point when I was, I'm happy about them. This I meant to put in my last vlog sale and completely, completely forgot. It's absolutely gorgeous, but I have enough card holders as I'm about to show you. So this would be, okay, maybe three of the items I think are a waste of money. I think small leather goods are a waste of money. I spent many years collecting colors and that that's the thing that they get you with. It's not the price of a handbag, but yet you can get the hottest color that Chanel has or the cutest print that Louis Vuitton just came out, the limited edition and they suck you in with this, but when you add all this money up over time, you could have gotten a handbag, a piece of jewelry, I mean, something more substantial. And I have plenty, and I'm also at a spot where I, I don't like changing that much anymore. I used to switch my wallets all the time, switch my small leather goods all the time, it might be every three months I will switch something out. Usually the only reason I will switch is if I'm using a much smaller bag and I need to go from my Zoe wallet to a flat card holder. So let me just show you a few of the ones I have. So this is just a few of the ones that I have and you can see clearly I have too many. I have some, an Hermes Bastia, a Calvi, another Bastia, my other Zoe wallet. But I have plenty here to um, be switching in and out of, and I just absolutely don't need any more. Long shops are some of my most favorite, favorite small leather goods, and you can get these on their semi-annual sale, which is where I got this one last year. This is also a long shop some year from a semi-annual sale. But these are just the wallets. These are not all the other things, and I have sold, like I said, a ton it's still too much and when I add up everything that's in here I'm like that's just it's excessive so no more small leather goods okay so number four on the list is perfume now perfume I do not feel like that is a waste of money but when you see the amount of perfume that I have for one person it is a waste of money it's completely obsessive I'm gonna take you in my bathroom and show you my perfume collection because I was not carrying all that stuff all the way over here. I really, really, really want to include lipstick in this video, but I can't lie to you guys. <laughs> I've been planning on doing this video for over a month or two. I like will make out lists of what videos I'm going to do and like try to plan when I'm going to film. Lipstick has been on that video list. It's been in the five the whole time. I bought three for my birthday. I bought an Hermes one and two Dior ones. I, I just can't lie, and, and yes, that's excessive too, but I'm still gonna buy the lipstick. But let me show you my perfume, and you will see why. I don't think perfume is a bad thing. I think it's, you know, it's a lovely luxury, a lovely pick-me-up. 
I wear a different scent every single day of the week. I do change my perfume more than the small leather goods, which you just saw. I could change those every day of the week too, but it's just too much, so I'll take you in there. Okay, I'm gonna try to name these very quickly. Mimosa and cardamom, orange bitters, um, <laughs> peony and blush suede, orange blossom, nectarine and honey, uh, honeysuckle and divania, wild bluebell, English pear and freesia, red roses, and these are both two I picked up in London, and it is flower shop number 42, white rose and lemon, lemon leaves, <laughs> then I also got the paintbrush, Gucci Bloom, Chanel Chance, fresh lemon sugar, Cora Batant from Louis Vuitton, uh, Cartier Panther, Bulgari Eau de Blanc, Dior, um, Miss Dior, um, Dior Joy, House of Siage, uh, Hot Bijou. This one is my most favorite. I got this in Paris. It's from Caron. It's uh, Delirie de Roses, which I'm sure I'm saying wrong. Uh, Hermes Blue de Marvelous, Hermes Twilly, and DKNY Be Delicious. Okay, as if that was not excessive enough, I also have an entire drawer full of samples travel sizes, roller balls. It's, it's a lot of perfume. At least the majority of this drawer was um, free, but still, that is a lot of perfume for one person. So that was a really crazy excessive amount of perfume for one person. And I do have to spend extra time every morning sitting there looking through and like, which one do I want to wear today? Because <laughs> I feel obligated. Like I said, I do change those. I wear them seven days a week, but no one single person needs that much perfume. And I'm not gonna show you my lipstick drawer because no one single person needs that much lipstick either. But I have to be honest, I know I'm gonna keep buying lipstick. The last one and number five, this one again, I think for the most part is a waste of money and that is bag charms. I have so many bag charms, so many Louis Vuitton luggage tags. I have five that I'm not gonna show with you, uh, share with you today because they're put away and they're not stamped. They're waiting for um, to go to Europe or somewhere else. There was a new stamp last, was it last year, I think? I don't know, it was either in London or Paris, there was a new stamp and we were supposed to go to Europe last year. So I was like excited to bring one of those. But honestly, I don't use them very often. And I have a whole lot of pom-pom bag charms. I'm gonna show you those. I don't use any of them very often, but let me show you them. Let me turn the camera around. Okay, they're shaking a little bit from me moving them, but um, as you can see, I have a ton, a ton, a ton of luggage tags. They used to be easy to get. They are not anymore. I think they're beautiful, but I simply don't need them and I don't use them particularly often but these are um, three that I got from Paris if I can show you those this one is also from Paris got a miniature one with an M and just trying to oh from London the bus I love that Hawaii but I just don't use these it's just silly to have all these ones this one just has an M on it Another M, I'm dropping stuff everywhere here. And then there was a point <laughs> that I was super into these pom-pom balls. <laughs> it's like, I have not used a pom-pom ball as a charm in such a long time. Oh, here's one with a tag on it. it. Shows you how often I've used these. But yes, it's just excessive. And these were not expensive by any means. I got most of these off of eBay. A few are Michael Kors, a few are Rebecca Minkoff, but most of them are just, you know, pretty inexpensive. But that's, you know, no matter how much it was, <laughs> it's money I could have used on something else. And I have some from, I think these were from H&M, Little Roses. I got one here too. I have another, I got three of them. Oh yes, wow, I needed three rose charms. It was very important to get those. <laughs> Little cherries. <laughs> and what is this? Ah, another pom-pom ball. Yes, and another pom-pom ball. So 
that is just a whole lot of bag charms that I just really don't use or need. So I would love to hear your thoughts down below. What are things that you have stopped wasting your money on or that you feel like you were excessive with or that you just are not buying anymore because it's flat out silly, like my bag charm collection. I am at a point where, yes, I know I just had this haul, you know, for my birthday, but everything that I purchased was very thought out and things that I have wanted for a while. And I'm at a point where I don't want to have things that I'm not going to use or waste my money on things that I just can't use up like the perfume or that just I feel are just way way overpriced just because you put two C's on something just you know the beautiful colors I'm just I'm done being tempted I'm just done <laughs> I hope that you have a wonderful day today and I hope to talk to you again very soon take care bye bye